we will perform the installation, review, and performance testing of Mix Linux. I started by downloading the XFCE Sys V init version with latest kernel from their website. However, I decided to look into the versions that users typically download. While Fluxbox is lighter, most users are downloading XFCE systemd, so I chose to download it. Before starting the live session, select the language, keyboard layout, and location appears. So we'll input this information beforehand in order to install and have it ready. We start the live session with the settings. The first version 16 was based on Anti-X and named Metamorphosis. It detects the Wi-Fi adapter and we enter the details. We proceed with the installation, which presents partitioning options. We select the option to use the entire disk, specifying the disk we want to use for installation. We can configure the swap, set the host name, enter the user, the password and root password. We choose the option for auto login and wait for the installation. Once finished, we restart the computer and wait for MX Linux to boot for the first time into the XFCE desktop with a modified vertical panel. Next, we take a tour, looking at the panel, the menu, the taskbar, conkey, MX tools, MX tweak, application installation, and snapshots. We review the desktop, panel, and menu. The layout is very organized, with a better presentation than Fluxbox, and it comes with many applications pre-installed. We open the terminal, which has a sleek, good-looking style. We increase the font size for better visibility, and then proceed to update the system. We check if we have FastFetch and SysBench installed and up to date, as they are necessary to gather system information and evaluate the distribution, respectively. We run FastFetch, which provides details about the kernel, desktop environment, window manager, initial memory, and disk installation size. We use commands to get the distribution name, kernel version, memory, and disk usage and compare those results with NeoFetch outputs. Next, we test for the Y2038 bug and execute the system deanalyze command to obtain the system's boot time, excluding the time taken by firmware. We then proceed to evaluate with Sysbench, starting with the CPU. We observe single thread performance, followed by five thread performance through operations. We continue with thread and mutex tests to analyze the processor's concurrent load management, as well as locking and resource efficiency, respectively. We evaluate both memory read and write performance with a sequential benchmark to measure how well the system handles memory operations. Next, we then prepare the necessary files to testing disk input and output. Afterward, we execute the disk performance test data read and write operations. We run the top command to measure the memory consumption of Firefox with one tab open, without any active extensions, to observe its initial resource usage. Next, we open a second tab and load a video, then a third and fourth tab, observing how memory usage increases with each additional tab. We've completed the review and evaluation of MX Linux 25 Infinity, and now we'll analyze the results observed and measured during the tests and observations. MX Linux 25 uses the Debian 13 kernel version. It installed 2,204 packages. It uses a recent version of XFCE as the desktop and XFWM as the window manager. The initial memory consumption was 1.19 GB, an average value. As for disk installation, it took up 13 GB, which is quite a bit of space. MX Linux does have support for the Y2038 bug, and its boot time without firmware was 32 seconds, one of the best boot times when compared to other distributions. In the Sysbench CPU test, it achieved more than 1,024 events per second, a very impressive result for the tested computer, along with the thread test. The thread test performed excellently with 1 in 4 foot 76 events per second. Similarly, the Mutex test achieved 11.63 events per second, both remarkable values. For memory read and write tests, the results were also excellent, indicating efficient memory access management in this distribution. Among the various open Firefox tabs, it consumed an average of 380 megabytes per tab, which is an average value compared to other distributions tested. It achieved nearly 11 megabytes per second for reading and 7 for writing in the disk test, which are excellent results among the evaluations performed. In conclusion, MX Linux is a distribution that stands out for its installation time, hardware detection, 
review, and performance evaluation. It is a highly recommended distribution. That's all for now. We'll continue with the performance tests of other distributions. If you like the video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you next time.